So we're going to discard that for the moment and put in the fridge. Alright, so we are done with the eggs. Now we're going to add the sugar. There we go. So I would recommend to not put too much sugar. I would say maybe um, three big spoons of sugar. There we go. Now we're gonna mix it. Oh, you can take like a wood spoon or uh, anything you like to mix it. All right, just like that. For like a minute, just mix it. And then we're gonna incorporate the mascarpone cheese that we've got um, organic cheese, okay, from whole food. Or you can find everywhere else too, I guess. There we go. Okay, so you're just gonna incorporate the cheese into your eggs and, eggs and sugar. And we're gonna mix it well. <laughs> Alright guys, after a few minutes, that's what you get right here. So we mix the sugar, the egg yolk, uh, the mascarpone and we're gonna add two spoons of creme fraiche. There we go. So organic, of course, it's better. Here. One. Two for the consistency. We're gonna try with two first and see what's happened. Okay. And also we're gonna add a coffee spoon or a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This one is from Madagascar and it's organic. Okay. I haven't tried this brand before, but it's look. Fine. Yeah, smell delicious. Okay, so here we go. One and maybe one and a half. That should be enough. Okay. And then you just continue to mix the ingredients together. Oh, look at that color. Look at that consistency. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. Well, for now, I just have a fork to mix, but I will get with a whisp one of those days. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna leave it for like a few minutes. There we go. And now we're gonna use the lady fingers biscuit here. So I remember my mom always used to make a nice cake with those cookies uh, when I was little. And uh, me and my sister, we were always making the cake. So since we were like four or five years old, it was very fun because there is basically no cooking and it's very simple, even kids can do it. So we're gonna take those lady fingers and we're gonna dip it into double espresso coffee. All right, so now we're gonna proceed to the next step. We're gonna put the ladyfinger cookies into a double espresso, and we can add some Belay's Amaretto. Or uh, this one, I haven't tried this brand before, but it looks very good. It's called Cafe Bohème, and we found it at the Whole Food. So it's a vanilla coffee extract uh, with a little bit of vodka cream instead of whiskey cream. So it looks fantastic. Okay, so let's put like a 
my little, I would say, three, four spoon of, of it, Cafe Bohème, right? That should be enough. And then the double espresso, okay? You just gonna pour it in the bowl, mixing bowl, okay? And you're gonna suck the lady fingers. You take the lady finger and put it very quick. And you put it like that. Okay? And you're gonna do that around the glass. Okay? Here we go. So basically, it's look so far. It's look like that, okay. Now we're gonna add our preparation with the eggs and the sugar on the top of it. Try not to make a mess. Now we're gonna add. A little bit of cocoa powder. So if you have something to strain the cocoa powder, we're just gonna take some uh, tea strainers for now. See? Okay, so far that's how it looks, okay, and because we have more, we can add some more to finish uh, the preparation and get to the glass full actually, so let's add some more. here is to leave it overnight in the fridge. Normally we recommend between six hours to uh, overnight to enjoy your dessert. And we got, of course, a beautiful, beautiful tiramisu. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. And I usually don't really do dessert, but it was a special request. So we have a beautiful tiramisu and I hope you're gonna enjoy it also and we're gonna see you in the next recipes.